Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have an insane video for you guys. We're gonna be teaching you guys everything in the game that you guys need to know about Buzz. We're gonna teach you guys all the stats, all the counters, everything. It counters, the interactions, absolutely everything to do with Buzz we are going to be teaching you guys. Now, Buzz comes out in just about a week in the Brawl Pass. Now, if you guys are going to be getting the Brawl Pass, I would love it if you guys can use code BOBBY. I'd appreciate it a ton. Obviously, my channel is not as big at all as the, uh, some of the other guys with codes. Every little thing helps for the channel size that I'm at. No, I'm not a tiny creator, but I'm also not set at all. I really want to upgrade my equipment, my video production. I want to get everything better, and I want to take the next step specifically on YouTube. So if you guys can help out, every little thing helps. Believe me, I know it doesn't seem that way, but every little code, every person that helps out goes a very long way. So I would highly appreciate it if you guys can help out. But thank you guys for watching the video either way. So now with that little code plug right there, let's get into it and let's show you guys every single thing you guys need to know about Buzz. Let's get into it. So getting into the stats here, Buzz has 5,880 HP. Now this is kind of tanky and kind of middle ground at the same time. A brawler we're going to relate it to is BB, where it can be played as a tanky brawler. And BB actually is played as a tanky brawler. But it doesn't have the insane tank HP that like a Frank a rosa or a primo would have now the reason because of this is because this brawler would be way too op if it had any more health whatsoever you still play it like a tank it still plays like a tank its movement speed is fast just like all the other tanks so buzz's damage is going to be 588 per punch but it shoots five total punches per shot so you can do up to 2940 damage now if you're just shooting straight you're not going to be able to do that you have to strafe left to right as your punches go left to right in kind of like a half circle type of thing so you just have to be constantly moving your body if you want to hit all five shots at once or if your opponent is doing it you gotta have to just react to your opponent now it's now it's range is obviously going to be short just like the rest of the tanks again this is just the model of tanks high hp high dps short range and its reload speed is going to be very fast so if you're just mashing auto aim if you're just smashing that button you're basically never going to run out of ammo you're always going to be able to exert a very high amount of damage and let me tell you guys from the gameplay you guys are going to see this is a very high dps brawler now it's super is actually really interesting and you guys are going to see some of it in the gameplay we show you guys how long you stun someone for is actually totally dependent on how far you are away from them when you use your super so if you go to the max range for your super you're going to be able to stun someone for 1.5 total seconds which let me tell you guys is a lot of time if you're getting 1.5 seconds of you shooting them with buzz and them not shooting back you're going to win every single engagement maybe except for against the shelly with super which even then you might be able to kill the shelly before it can get its super off but if you get only 0.5 seconds of your stun it's not going to be that long you're only going to be able to get usually one or maybe two shots off before they can start shooting so you're probably not going to be very good at that so the further you are away again the longer you get them stunned and you want to be hitting those longer shots obviously so you can keep them stunned for longer now it's first star power tougher torpedo increases the minimum duration of the super stun by 0.5 seconds now obviously this is going to be very useful if you're going to be playing in a map where you think there's going to be a lot of tanks so let's say for example triple dribble on brawl ball if there are going to be a lot of tanks a lot of mid-range brawlers i would definitely recommend using this star power as it's just going to help you chain kills it's going to help you get more punches and against tanks this one is definitely the better star power now the second star power is going to be eyes sharp now you want to play with this star power if you're going to be playing on a more ranged map so let's say we're playing backyard bowl another brawl ball map but it plays totally differently because the range is actually longer i'd recommend using this one now it's not going to help with the stuns but you're less likely to just chain pulls and kind of run all over the place you're going to be playing more passive hiding behind some walls trying to gain your super passively by just waiting there which you actually charge really fast we're going to show you some gameplay of it so this is definitely one that you want to use if it's going to be a more open map now for the gadget we're going to have reserve buoy now this is actually a really interesting gadget because it's essentially just your super except this isn't going to stun anyone whatsoever now it's going to be very different actually the usage of this than the usage of your super when you get it naturally because the stun is a very critical part in killing your opponents now unless you hard counter say you you know go onto a piper with your gadget that's one thing a piper is not going to be able to kill you but if you gadget onto a jackie onto a shelly onto another tank you're going to get absolutely rolled 
there's no way you're going to be able to get the kill because they're not going to be stunned and they're just going to out dps you so again you want to use this for like retreating for trying to score a brawl ball goal for trying to make a big play that's what you want to use this for you don't want to use this to go into a tank because you're just going to get absolutely demolished so as for the passive charging it takes about 15 total seconds for you to charge your super now right here you guys can actually see i'm hitting two opponents at once now you guys might be saying you know how are you possibly getting two opponents at once I'm actually getting that top right robot over there. Now, although it's out of the circle, you can see the little circle under the robot brawler is actually ever so slightly in the circle. So it's not the actual brawler animation that has to be in the charging, you know, circle radius. It's the actual circle of the brawler or whatever the base of the brawler that has to be in the radius at all for you to be able to charge. So although, again, the brawler might be out, you could still charge if the base of the brawler is in your charging, you know, circle loop kind of thing. Now, obviously, the more opponents that get into your charging, the better. So you guys can see how fast we charge our super when we have multiple bots in it. Now, obviously, you're going to be facing brawlers, not bots, and there's not going to be 15 of them on your screen. But if you have all three brawlers within your radius, which is actually very possible given how big the radius is, it's going to be 15 total tiles all the way from the left, all the way to the right, give or take. It might be 14 and a half. I'm not Kairos. I don't know exactly what it is. Um, it's very big though. It's extremely good, but this is with the star power. Without the star power, it's actually not this big. It's only about 10 tiles wide, and the radius is about 5 tiles either way. So again, if you're going to be playing on a closed map like Triple Dribble, it's not going to be too big of a deal. But if you're playing on an open map, you definitely want to be using this open, very big circle over here. So now we're going to be showing you guys the difference between the stun when you super and no stun when you super. And there's actually quite a significant difference. So when you use your super and get a stun, you guys can clearly see here that the bot is stunned for a fairly long time. The bot isn't going to be able to shoot me, obviously, if it was a player would shoot me, for about 1.5 seconds over here, which is going to give me a lot of time to kill. But if I use my gadget and go onto it, obviously you guys can see it can just shoot me immediately. There's not going to be any stun. Imagine it's a Shelly with super. You're using your buoy to get onto the Shelly and BAM! Shelly super to the face. There's absolutely no way to kill it. So again, be very cognizant and be very aware of what you're grappling onto and what you're trying to get onto when you're using your gadget. Now, Buzz is actually a very simple brawler for what it does good into and for what it doesn't do good into. And we're going to cover that right now. Instead of it going brawler by brawler, it's actually basically group by group. So you have the snipers slash long range, you have the tanks, you have the high DPS, the mid range and the throwers. So all of the throwers is getting countered by Buzz. All of the range, for the most part, we're going to show you guys the specifics, is also getting countered by Buzz, etc. Tanks, a little bit of a different story. So we're going to show you guys all the counters, all that stuff, what you want to stay away from, what you want to go into. Let's hop into the gameplay and let's show you guys. So the first group we're going to be talking about is the mid-range brawlers. Now this one is probably the most interesting. It's the most give and take. Now you guys know what give and take is. It's when you give something, you can also take something. And when you take something, you also have to give in return. And that's kind of the case with the mid-range brawlers. So with mid-range brawlers, when you're killing them, you're killing them very badly. You're destroying all of them, whether that be Nita, Amber, Sandy, Carl, any of those brawlers, you're beating them 100% of the time the first time you interact with them. But what you're also doing is charging their supers. So if you fling onto a Sandy and you try and kill a Sandy, you are going to do so. But it's going to hit you three or four times charging its super. Same thing with Nita. You're going to be able to kill the Nita, but you're going to be able to charge its super. It's going to get close to its super. And once it gets its super, it's now going to counter you. So there's give and take with mid-range brawlers. Just you versus that brawler alone, you're going to be able to beat it. But when you have a bear on one side and a Nita on the other side, you're very likely going to lose. And then the same thing also goes with Sandy. Or when you kill it, you're doing the damage and you're actually killing it, but you're charging that Sandstorm. And then when it has it, it's going to be able to kill you fairly easily. And that goes with Carl, Amber, and all the other mid-ranges you guys can think of. It's basically just a give and take. Now, as for the range, there's also some give and take where it can help you and it cannot help you, but you definitely counter range a lot more than you would think. Now, most tanks, for example, Primo, if you see a Colt or a Rico as a Primo, you just want to go to the next game. You don't even want to play this game. But with Buzz, you can actually counter them pretty well. Now, because the stun gadget isn't just you have to hit them and stun, it actually has like a three and a half tile radius, you don't need to hit them exactly you can grapple on a wall next to them or something and then begin hitting them 
punching them, whatever you do as Buzz, and it's a pretty easy kill. The amount of times you get supers per game because it charges really fast passively and then also charges really fast when you're punching is pretty incredible, not to mention the fact that you have three free supers with the gadget. And the range brawlers, gadget or not, there is nothing they can do about it. Imagine you go onto a piper, and a piper is hitting you for 700 per shot, and you're hitting it for up to 2.9 thousand per shot. Unfortunately, the piper is not going to have much time to live over there. Now, there is some take, though. You can face a colt, and a colt can break all the walls, and once those walls are broken, you are screwed. You are not winning that and same goes for brock if you can break all the walls and not let buzz play passively you are pretty screwed it's kind of like a better edgar almost where edgar you know at the start of the game it's really good it can hide behind walls it can hide in grass it can get it super and it can jump onto you but once those brawl or once those walls sorry get broken and once the game starts to you know develop a little more you run out of gadgets that's when the range starts to counter you so you try and get the game over with fast if you're playing brawl ball try and score two early goals or if you're playing gem against range try and you know beat them pretty quickly or get some supers pretty quickly because as the game goes on the harder it's going to get for you now going into the last group of brawlers that it hard counters a lot it's going to be the throwers now this one is pretty obvious you can just grapple right beside someone with your gadget. You don't even need to stun them, and it's going to be a pretty easy kill. I mean, what's a Dyna going to do when you're one tile away from it, punching it for 2.9 thousand, and it has to throw sticks at you that take one minute, or sorry, one second to shoot and can't even do anything? Now, the only two brawlers that I can think of out of the throwers that might stand somewhat of a chance is Barley if you throw your sticky syrup on the ground and slow the buzz, but even then, I think the buzz will still be able to kill you. And then the Tick. The Tick can use its shield, but even then, now it doesn't fully shield, so you're still getting some damage off. And if you just position yourself correctly, it's not going to throw you back that far. But even if so, you just click that green button again and you grapple right onto it again. It counters throwers very hard. There's essentially nothing throwers can do at all. And this is definitely going to be its hardest hard counter. Now, as for what counters Buzz, this one's fairly simple. It's just most of the tanks. Daryl, Counter Crush Jackie, Shelly with Super. Maybe don't even go on to a Shelly without Super. Primo. You guys know what it is. Just the high DPS brawlers that have a lot of health counter Buzz. Now, sometimes Buzz can win. Sometimes the other tanks can win. But a lot of the case with Counter Crush Jackie and with Primo... They are going to win basically 95% of the time. Daryl you can beat and Shelly you can beat, but I don't really recommend going into it. BB you hard counter pretty well. The most it can do is knock you back, but you're, even, you're just going to do a ton of damage to it already anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I would try and stay away from the tanks. It's not what you want to do. You're using your mobility because you're kind of like an assassin to get onto brawlers that don't do well from up close, and that's what you want to be going for. Now, a couple other brawlers that also counter it really hard are knockback brawlers. So what are knockback brawlers? Those are brawlers like Gene and Ems, who once you get close to it, they can just push you away. They can say, actually, I'm good right now. Just knock you back. Gene is one of the biggest hard counters, and I think actually the biggest hard counter in the game to buzz is Gale. Because Gale can just fully throw you across the map and just say, I want absolutely nothing to do with this. And basically just toss you away. Now Surge with the TP counters it really well because you can TP back or TP another way. You can also jump up and kind of knock it back. So brothers that can kind of just get away from Buzz counter it as well. So again, it's pretty simple. Tanks and things that can knock you back or run away easily do not gadget into, do not super into and try and stay away from. And then those mid-range brawlers, those snipers, anything like that, just go right at and try and beat them. But don't try and charge the mid-range supers too much. So that's going to be it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoy. Now, this is my first time doing this type of video. So again, there's going to be a lot of room to improve. But if you guys want anything in these type of videos or see any ways that I can improve, obviously just let me know in the comment section below because I want to get these videos as high quality as possible. I know a lot of other content creators are able to pump out vid videos early just like I can now, but I think I have a really unique pro player perspective on it that a lot of them don't necessarily have, and I think we can turn this out really well for everyone and teach a lot of people. So anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, do all that. I will try and see you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.